Hello, my name is Anna Shahua. I'm one of the authors of the article of the week chosen by British Journal of Urology International. Different TRP channels have been found in the urinary bladder. Of these, the most extensively studied are TRPV1 and TRPV4. TRPV1 is expressed in the urotelium and in nociceptive fibers causing the mucosa and the muscle layers. TRPV1 is known to be essential for the bladder pain and hyperactivity during cystitis. TRPV4 is mainly expressed in urotelium when activated by stretch, induces ATP release, which will activate capsaicin insensitive neurons. Although TRPV4 is present in the dorsal root ganglion neurons, it was never observed in the bladder nerve fibers. Similar to what was observed by other authors, in the present study, TRPV4 expression in the bladder nerve endings was below the levels of detection of the immunohistochemistry method use. However, using a retrograde neuronal tracer injected in the bladder wall, we found that TRPV4 is present in the bladder primary afferents. Next, we aim to evaluate if TRPV4 and TRPV1 were colocalized and if their co-expression changed with cystitis. Functional data from other authors suggests that these two receptors are expressed in different bladder sensory fibers. Hence, we analyze TIPV4 and TIPV1 expression in the L6 dorsal root ganglion neurons of the normal animals, and we observe that only a small proportion of the neuronal cells co-express these two receptors. Repeating this analysis on the L6 dorsal root ganglion neurons of animals with cystitis, we have observed that the proportion of neurons that co-express TRPV4 and TRPV1 is similar to the one observed in the control animals. The presence of these receptors in different neuronal populations suggest that they could have a complementary activity. In fact, the concomitant use of TRPV4 and TRPV1 antagonists proved to be more effective in reducing bladder hyperactivity during cystitis than the use of each antagonist per se. In conclusion, in the present study we observe that TRPV4 and TRPV1 are present in different neuronal population and that TRPV4 and TRPV1 have a synergistic effect during pathological conditions. Therefore, one should consider the combined use of TRPV4 and TRPV1 antagonists in lower doses than the usual tested as a possible way to overcome the potential side effects assigned to the use of each of these molecules.